And we're back here at Boom and Bust with our guest, Dr. Molly Shoykut, a principal at the Shoykut Lab for Regenerative Medicine at the University of Toronto. Uh, Molly, uh, continue with your thought before the break, but I also want to ask you, you're doing both. You're both an entrepreneur and a researcher, and uh, I, I'd love for you to fold into your answer, not only continuing what you were saying before, but I'd love to know your perspective on what the skill sets that are necessary to be successful at both of those, because to me, they're, they're very different sets of skills. So uh, let's, let's hear from you on that. Yeah, thank you for that question. First of all, I wanna make it very clear that I don't do anything by myself. So the research, I have 30 people in the lab in my lab at the University of Toronto, brilliant undergraduates, graduate students, postdoctoral fellows, technicians, administrative staff, they really, we work collaboratively as a team to advance knowledge. And then um, at Amicathera, for example, um, we have a full-time CEO, Michael Cook, who's really running that show. Now it's, right now it's a small company, it's a smaller team, it's over at J Labs, so at, you know, in the tech, larger Mars tech incubator. Um, and that, um, it's a full-time job. Running a lab is a full-time job. Of course, I teach as well, and I have administrative duties. So all of those um, take an enormous amount of time and energy. But really what I think it takes is passion. Mm -hmm. You know, and I went into this field. I decided to pursue a PhD a long time ago now because I thought it would be so exciting and such a great opportunity to invent the future. Mm. And so for me, this idea of inventing something in the lab, so we've invented a series of new materials and Amicathera is taking one of these really cool materials we've invented and using it clinically um, initially to treat post-surgical pain. So how it's just so exciting for me to think that a fundamental invention that we made in our lab is going to benefit people. And that is, that's just the passion. So, um, but you know, you're right. It takes lots of different skills. And you know, one giant difference is in academia, as soon as, as people are really good at what they're doing, they're supposed to leave, right. you know, they graduate. Whereas in a company, if we invest time and make people really good at what they're doing, we want them to stay sure, <laughs> sure. so they can do more of that. And, and then there's so many other differences. But but I, I just uh, uh, springboarding off one of the things you said, you're, you see a lot of young people, bright people. Do you see in some of them entrepreneurial tendencies? And do you try to draw that out and build that up as well? Absolutely. So more and more. So it's really actually quite interesting. So first of all, I've been so passionate about the biotech sector in Canada because for so long, we in Canada would invest so much in our brilliant Canadian students and then watch them go to the United mm -hmm. States. And that's always going to happen, but it would be nice for us to have more opportunities for them here. But I think what's really fascinating is over the last, I would say even five to six years, more of my students are interested in going into government and policy, which I love because even in my short time working in government, I realized we needed more scientists in government mm -hmm. to, you know, if nothing else, to provide uh, that scientific m methodology to government and, and uh, just a different way of thinking. But more and more, my graduate students and postdocs are interested in entrepreneurship. And so we have more programs to support them as they they start that journey towards advancing innovations and inventions to commercialization. 